In three of my previous videos, I talk about infantile load collation and also uh, I talk about how to calculate the capacity of a uh, infantile battery bank. I also talk about how to determine infantile system backup time and or, or the backup time can also be called infantile system discharge time. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to determine the number of uh, solar panels that will be required for a particular infantile system, especially hybrid infantile system. Please welcome to my JK Multimedia Solutions channel and please do subscribe to my channel if you have not done so as you follow me in this video. Thank you. What we are saying here is that we have uh, the three phase hybrid infarter here with uh, MPPT charge controller. All right. And we have the solar panels here where we have the sun shining on the solar panels. So we have uh, the generator and then the mains. So we have the changeover switch here to select the, uh, the mains or the generator. And we have the battery bank here. So here we have the inverter AC load. That's alternating current load. Now what we are saying is if there is mains uh, supply, right, the mains, the mains voltage we charge the battery, all right, and uh, at the same time, it will bypass the inverter, uh, the inverter function, and supply uh, AC voltage directly to the AC load. But in a situation where the mains voltage is not available, then, and uh, the generator also. It's not in, it's not being used. Then what will happen here is that the solar panel, provided that is during the day, the solar panel will have to power the AC load through the uh, inverter action. And at the same time, or simultaneously, it will charge the battery bank as well. So there are two things. The solar panel will provide power to the AC load and at the same time charge the, the battery bank. Now, continue to follow me as I use an example to illustrate the concept that I'm talking about here. Now the illustration. Examples. A. Calculate the number of solar panels required to charge a 48 volts 1200 ampere hour battery bank fully that is 100 percent given that sunshine time is equal to seven hours assume that the lithium battery bank had been fully discharged that's the a part then b part determine the number of uh, solar panels required to charge a 12 volt 200 ampere hour battery bank fully that is 100 percent sunshine time is equal to seven hours as well and also assume that the lithium battery bank had been fully discharged in both cases it is clear that uh, the batteries are lithium uh, batteries all right now solutions to the questions the a part there are two methods for going about the solutions all right the first method is this now we have 48 volts 1200 ampere hour battery bank so the the one of the easiest ways is to convert the ampere hour to watt hour and you do that by multiplying the ampere hour by the footage 
which is what to give us this. And if you are uh, converting the watt hour to ampere hour, also you divide by the voltage. So in this case, you are multiplying the ampere hour by the voltage to get the watt hour. And then we move on. So assume, assuming when one wants to use 500 watt solar panel, it's left to the to, to the designer if you want to use a 500 or another type of another rating of a solar panel but in this situation i'm using 500 watts it could be 250 watt or whatever so making use of 500 watt solar panels so the number since we have been given that uh, the sunshine time is seven hours all right so assume 500 watt solar panels are to be used then 500 watts in 7 hours we give 500 watts times 7 hours and this is the value so we can now calculate the number of uh, 500 watt solar panels required by dividing this by what we are getting here and the answer is 16 also if the inverter load is 10 kilowatts or call it 10 kVA, then the number of uh, 500 watt solar panels right, to, to power the inverter load will be equal to 10,000 uh, 10, watt divided by 500 watt. That will give us uh, 20. So assume that uh, the hybrid inverter itself is of uh, 10 kVA rating. And the second method. So similarly we convert uh, 1200 ampere hour to uh, watt hour and this is what uh, we are getting so 500 uh, making use of 500 watt solar panels as well so that will give us total amount of power required for full charge if you go to uh, this divided by seven hours since we we'll know that uh, uh, the sunshine time is seven hours. The hour we cancel hour and we have a uh, five seven six zero zero watts. So and this is the result. So we can now calculate the number of five hundred watt uh, solar panel there, and that will give us sixteen. So and then just uh, likewise, uh, just like we did in the in a part the number of, in, of solar panels for the inverter load itself if the inverter load is 10,000 kilowatt or 10,000 i mean if it is 10 kilowatts or 10,000 watts or we can call it 10 kva and that will give us 20 so the total number of solar panels for charging the battery and simultaneously supplying power to the inverter load will be 16 plus 20 giving us 36. Moving on to question B. Method 1. To charge 12 volt 200 ampere hour lithium battery bank fully using 500 watt uh, solar panels in 7 hour sunshine time. So then 500, 500 watts solar panel we give this multiply by the number of hours we give us this and then uh, to change it to what hours we multiply this by 12 volts and it will give us this so and the answer will be approximately one but you will use 400 watt uh, solar panel it will still be okay assuming the inverter load is 1 kva so we will require the or we will need the two number 500 watts uh, solar panel for that and if it is 400 watt also i think uh, that, that one could be i think we, we need more of that because that two will give us 800 that will be three but in this situation we are using 500 watts so we have for the battery charging uh, we have one and then uh, for the uh, inverter load uh, we have uh, two and that, uh, that will give us three. Finally, 
the second method of uh, B part to, to charge 12 volts 200 ampere hour lithium battery bank fully using 500 watt solar panel in seven sunshine time seven hours sunshine time so um, this one converting it from an ampere hour to what hour will give us uh, this all right and in seven hours if we divide it use seven to divide the, this it will give us this assuming we want to charge it quickly so this one will have, maybe it's, it's, if the sunshine time is one hour instead of seven this will have been one hour and the number of uh, uh, solar panels will have been more if it is two hours it will have the sunshine time if it's two hours this one will have been two all right so now now that is it is seven in seven hours it will give us this so the number of uh, 500 watt solar panel required be 343 divided by 500 which is approximately one and uh, 400 watt we also do the work so and then if the inverter load is 1 kV, the total number of 500 watt solar uh, panel required will be 3 and that is the end of uh, the presentation and uh, please do subscribe to my JK Multimedia Solutions uh, channel I expect more exciting videos thanks for watching